Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I wanted to discuss one of the better known early releases from DHR, and this is DHR number four, and that is Alec Empire's The Destroyer. Now, you know, the first time you hear this record or you hear of this record, a lot of people will say it's just a lot of like senselessly distorted breakbeats and it doesn't have a lot of point to behind it. But that's just not true. With tracks like We All Die, Bang Your Head, and Nobody Gets Out Alive, My Body Cannot Die, The Peak is on here. These records have a lot of purpose, and these records, I mean these records, these songs have a lot of purpose, and they are incredibly well made, and they're incredibly well structured. And you can tell that Empire definitely put the effort in, and this shit wasn't just tossed together for the sake of making something noisy and senseless. Each of these tracks have make a lot of sense. You just have to be able to wrap your head around how at times this record is going to go completely off the rails and like kick you in the face as hard as it can. If you like that sort of thing, this is like one of the best like digital hardcore records ever made. But if you don't, well, if you don't, I, you probably don't like pretty much anything DHR has done, especially through their first few years because it's all sort of like this. Well, it is and it isn't because there are a few standout records that sound nothing like this that uh, they released early on. But this record is amazing. I love the artwork. I love the feel. I love how digital it is. I love how... Despite the fact that it is, like I said, it's an electronic album, it feels very organic, and it feels very honest, and the songwriting is raw, and it's rugged, and it's like in your face, and this record, in a lot of ways, is coming to destroy your speakers as well as your eardrums. If you're choosing to listen to this or any number of DHR stuff on headphones, you're brave, and later on in life when you develop tinnitus, you will live to regret that decision, but hopefully that doesn't happen until you're well into your 60s, because by then, what can you do? You probably won't even care. You may not even remember that you listened to this when you were younger. But yeah, so look, I'm gonna go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for a couple minutes while I discussed uh, Alec Empire's The Destroyer. This is one of the best records DHR ever released. It's well-structured, it's well-produced, um, it has a lot of scope. It has a lot of focus. The songs are crazy and they will destroy your speakers, but it's by design and it's not just because of laziness and cranking everything to 10. Yeah, so thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody and I will see you guys soon. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.